Well, first of all, you know, 2016 was an incredible year. And uh, June the 23rd, I think that's the correct date. But uh, worst thing that I have ever been involved in in my life. And I know it's the same for all of y'all. And uh, yeah, I know that we hunted six weeks for a little 14-year-old girl. And, and, and the tragedy all across the board was unbelievable. But in all of that, <laughs> You know, the thing that, you know, so many parts of it really just ripped your heart out. I mean, that's all there's to it. But uh, I can remember just like it was nothing, you know, yesterday, that you go along and you're wading mud and you're seeing people that are in, in the houses trying to just get the mud out of their houses and they're piling all their memories and everything up right on the side of the street. And the National Guard comes along with an inloader bucket, and we were tickled to death that they were here, and just scoops it up and throws it in the back of a, of a dump truck, and off it goes. Years and years and years of memories. It just was bad. Now, in all of that, what do we do? Well, those that lost their life, those that lost everything they had, what would they want us to do? They'd want us to go on, would they not? They'd want us to just keep trying to get better and, and bring more hope and more promise to our communities and to our loved ones and everything. That's what they'd want. I know that's what they'd want. And that's what each and every one of y'all I know would want. So today, you know, in Greenbrier County, and we've been all across Forever. I mean, I started out in Greenbrier County, drove through the snow in Beckley, ended up in Charleston, did a thing there in Charleston, left there, went to Minden, left there, went to Craigsville, left there, and went to Marlington, and now I'm in Alderson, you know, <laughs> and so, so now. But the reason we ended up in Alderson was because in Greenbrier County, we've got, I think it's six, yeah, it's six, of these grants, you know, I'll get in a lot of trouble, you know, if I keep just showing up in Greenbrier County and giving away six grants like this and everything, I'm just teasing because we're, we're ever so deserving in all these communities and everything, whether they be Raynell, Rupert, Ronsford, Alderson, Whitesoff, or Lewisburg, you know, we know what we've gone through. And so with that, now think about this. I think we gave away yeah, $65.8 million of grants. And in that, in this one area, these six grants are in excess of $30, $30 million. Woo! It's unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. So I couldn't be happier. You know, it's a, you know, Green Bar County is no question the greatest county in the state, but with all of that, Dang right. <laughs> but, but with all that, I'm awful proud of the other 54 too, oh. because there's no place like West Virginia. I mean, really, it's just it's the best of the best, and we know that. But uh, and I know all the stuff you suffered through. I know, I know it because I can see it on your face, and I can feel it. I felt it every day, every day of what we've gone through forever. So I'm gonna give these away, and. Some of y'all come up here and, gosh, everybody, this is, I mean, you know, these numbers are dumbfounding. I mean, you know, really and truly, now, let's just be honest. If we had $18,000 that we were going to give to the town of Raynell, we would all celebrate. We would. We would think, that going, that's the neatest thing in the world. And, you know, we're going to do, we're going to get something. Something's going to happen for children or something's going to happen to somewhere for our elderly or whatever. But we got $18,000 to give to the town of Raynell, and we would be tickled to death. We're giving right now, this grant says, the state of West Virginia, West Virginia Community Development Block Grant Hazard Mitigation. This is to certify a grant for the town of Raynell, $9,955,000.
not too bad, is it, young lady? No, it's not. It's so Turn around good. there and let's get her picture. <laughs> Now, we don't want to make light of these things. I mean, you know, let's just, I mean, I'm, I'm going to jump around here. <laughs> you know, I'm going to try to. Because all these things will make us so much better. Gee, many Christmas. I can't do that. Much. <laughs> I'm trying to get to a smaller one. <laughs> but here's one, really and true, and I don't know what this is for, but this is for the city of Lewisburg. It's $250,000. Right on. And, uh, I don't know what all that's going to do, but uh, Missy, you want to come get this for me? There you go, young lady. Go do great stuff. Spend money. Spend money. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That's for planning, oh, yes. Governor. Thank y'all. Governor, you that's for you. planning, Grant. That's Say what? For, that's for planning for the next grant. That's planning for the next grant. Well, I, I can tell you this, John. <laughs> you know, who I know does phenomenal work. And I think, and Rebecca, where's Rebecca? She's like, she was telling me just a minute ago, John, that on the way in here, I think you applied for like, I don't know, but of this 68, 65.8 million, like 56 million of these grants are grants that you applied for and you did the work on, is that correct? There's people right over there. And you guys right there, that's great stuff. Well, I'm trying, gosh, think about this a second. West Virginia Community Development Block Grant, Hazard Mitigation. This is a certified grant for $2,980,000, White Sulphur Springs. Okay, this is to the city of Ronsford. Woo! Woo! Got a bulldog! <laughs> you know, like baby dogs? Uh, you know, now, now think about it. Why baby dog? I mean, all the time, it's baby dog, baby dog, baby dog. I can go somewhere, and the first thing is, have you got baby dog with you? And the next thing, if you got baby dog, well, I might as well just go out there and stand in the room. With you. Well, you're just as cute, Jim. <laughs> Well, I don't know about that now. I, you know, I can't promise you that baby dog's an unusual look, but everybody looks at her smiles. And truly, that little dog loves everybody. You know, and that's, to me, in all that we've gone through with this pandemic and all this stuff that we've had to go through, I don't know that message could be any better than that. Make a smile and something, some little rascal that loves us all. How can it be any better? You know, so look at these bells. Isn't that good stuff? <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> you know, definition of coincidence, an everyday occurrence in which God chooses to rem remain anonymous. Mm. Think about that. You know, to the city of Ronsford, eight million eight hundred. <laughs> This is to certify that a grant of two million six hundred thousand dollars. There you go, sir. Good job. Thank you very much. Uh, that's really good. Okay, we got you. 
<laughs> you can at least tell me you'd take me through Wendy's or something. <laughs> thank you. Okay, no, thank you. And this last but not least. He's a happy kid. Just look out there and just think. Think. State of West Virginia, West Virginia Community Development Block Grant, Hazard Mitigation. This is to certify. This grant has been awarded to the town of Alderson. Eight million three hundred and four thousand. I want the team. I want the team. There you go, sir. You're going to take our water plant out of the pool. That's good. Great stuff. Isn't that good? Isn't that wonderful? Right over there, the biggest one I ever caught. wasn't very big, but it's the biggest one that I ever caught. You know? And I can tell you, right down there below the Big Wheel Restaurant, one night I had been duck hunting up here in October, and I came down across the, the old bridge, went down, and I was heading toward Beckley, heading home, and there was a guy standing in the road with a saw horse with a flashing light on. He said, "You can't go down there." He said, "The, wa the, the road's flood." I said, oh, I can get around right through that water. I mean, I know I can. And he said, you can't go down. I said, I'll be okay. I know I'll be okay. And down through there I went. This is true as it can be. Drove through the water, came up on dry land, looked and thought, well, I can make it. Drove through the water, came up on dry land. Drove through the Jeep Wagoneer. Drove through the water, came up again. The last time I went through the water, the water was way up above the running board on the vehicle. And I said, I gotta go back. <laughs> I can't see anything below me but water and dark and everything. And I turned around, and this is why I truly I know without any doubt that the good Lord is with us all the time in different kinds, because this night I shouldn't have been here anymore. And when I turned around and started back upstream, up against that water, tires spinning. And literally, at one point in time, the water came all the way across the hood and went right up the windshield, just like Ooh. that, and the vehicle kept running. So I'm here with you. <laughs> Passed out a lot of money. Know the good Lord's with me and with all y'all. So anyway, nevertheless, go do good stuff. I'm proud of all of you, and I thank you for all you do each and every day. We're going to all pull this road together, and we're going to get through this pandemic, too. Getting through that flood was tough enough, but we're getting through this, too. So thanks to all of you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'm out of here.